Uh, it is my pleasure to now introduce uh, a friend, one of the great owners in all of sports, uh, and somebody who I know believes very much in the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan, Mike Illich. Where's my skates? I'm all fired up. The man fired me up. It's great to be here. This is getting to be quite the place for really big announcements. We're excited that Commissioner Bettman and NHL has selected the Detroit Red Wings to host the 2013 National Winter Classic. I'd like to also thank uh, Dave Brandon, athletic director at the Big House, for allowing us to play there this year. Glad, uh, glad our friends from Toronto came in, a, a whole bunch of people I haven't seen for years. Uh, Brian Burke, uh, president, Larry Tannenbaum, owner, and when Larry and I get together, we sit down and we got a lot of businesses we're involved with, but we never ever said one word about business. All we do is talk about hockey over and over and over. We're really excited for the fans. This community deserves a great event like this. This is one of the greatest sports towns ever, and this celebration of the sports of hockey will provide a tremendous positive impact to our community. We're committed to making this the best NHL Winter Classic ever, especially with the addition of the inaugural Hockey Town Winter Festival. We're proud to show the world why we love Hockey Town. I can promise you there'll be something for everyone. And it really feels great to be here and this is the biggest crowd we've ever had here in this place. And uh, I'm all fired up. I want to get my skates, and, but I can't skate. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. I'm Christopher Illich. Uh, and as my father said, we are thrilled that the NHL has selected the Detroit Red Wings as the host club of the 2013 Winter Classic. Two original six clubs, two venues, two sheets of ice, a world-class event in Hockey Town. What defines Hockey Town is the people. It's the city of Detroit and its suburbs. It's the entire state of Michigan and beyond. Hockey Town has no physical borders, but one common denominator, people with an undying passion for the sport of hockey. So we are incredibly excited to host the 2013 Winter Classic and the Hockey Town Winter Festival this coming December. With today's announcement, we are especially happy for the fans. This is a great sports town, and the opportunity for the Detroit Red Wings to participate in what potentially will be the largest hockey game ever at Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor is fantastic. The matchup with the Toronto Maple Leafs is a great one. We have a long and historic rivalry. The NHL and the Big House, it doesn't get any bigger than that. Our organization is committed to making this the best winter classic ever, especially with the addition of the inaugural Winter Town, excuse me, Hockey Town Winter Festival. I can promise you, as my father mentioned, there will be something for everybody. And as many of you certainly know, Detroit has played host to a number of major sporting events in recent years. The 2005 Major League Baseball All-Star Game and the 2006 World Series, both right here at Comerica Park with our Detroit Tigers. The Super Bowl 40, right next door at Ford Field. The Ryder Cup at Oakland Hills Country Club, just outside the city. The Final Four in 2009 and the Frozen Four in 2010. Now. We are ready to host the world in Hockey Town for the Winter Classic and the tremendous celebration of the great sport of hockey. 
In addition to the NHL Alumni Showdown game here at Comerica Park, which promises to feature some of the biggest names in the sport, we're pleased to announce that the 2012 Great Lakes Invitational will move from Joe Louis Arena to Comerica Park for the first ever hockey games in this venue. Michigan, Michigan State, Michigan Tech, Western Michigan will play their games outdoors as a part of this historic celebration of hockey. And we're also working with representatives of the American Hockey League and the Ontario Hockey League to showcase some of their top teams here at Comerica Park, including a matchup between our two minor league affiliates, the Grand Rapids Griffins and the Toronto Marlies, uh, as well as games between the Plymouth Whalers versus the London Knights and the Saginaw Spirit taking on the Windsor Spitfires. Festival plans also call for us to host boys and girls youth hockey games, high school hockey games, sled hockey games, celebrity games, and much more. There will be opportunities for companies and organizations to utilize the ice for private events uh, during the festival and for the general public to enjoy open skating and other great activities for hockey fans and families. Details on all of these events will be finalized in the weeks and months ahead, and the information will be available starting today at a special website, 2013winterclassic.com. Suffice to say, we will have something for everyone. We've had conversations with the organizers of the Winter Blast here annually in Detroit, and the parade company and others in the community, and we're going to deliver just an unbelievable, family-friendly, fun-filled series of events here in downtown Detroit this coming December. And speaking of Detroit, I would like to acknowledge uh, several dignitaries from Detroit that are here today. Uh, Detroit City Council President Pro Tem Gary Brown uh, and City Council members Joanne Watson, uh, Brenda Jones, uh, Andre Spivey, and James Tate.